my issue with postmodernism, if that's even a satisfactory term, my issue with it is that mankind isn't your canvas. You can say that all these things are totally arbitrary, religion, the state, said authority, and you can deconstruct them and say how bland and arbitrary you are. How you can even tr try it on a racial level. At best, you're going to get French gentlemen spouting data, but that's kind of in your power. It's in your position to deconstruct things. It's a nice little skill, but used irresponsibly, which is the way most people use it. Tumblr tarts, the new university figures, now that the Marxists are dying, the more postmodern strand of it all. Uh, essentially, even the Zeitgeist Tards, the Venus Project Tards, they're very much fucking postmodernistic in some ways. Because they're essentially saying that all the authority, all the corruption in this world, it's all essentially arbitrary, it doesn't really need to exist. And we should fucking replace it, start from the bottom up, from scratch, and have a new world system. With that zeitgeist, it was smashing the currency system. And essentially creating a new economic standard that isn't based on scarcity. And the retards believed it. I kind of tackled a video back in... 2011 with my ideals, which were libertarian at the time. And while they weren't as crazy, they were still kind of shitty. And for elements when he thought, alright, we should smash the state, we should get rid of this monocentric legal order and go for a polycentric one. This is before he turned fash, which in actuality, he's not a fascist, he's a protectionist that loves Jared Taylor. I really hate this camera angle. I'm about to get closer. I, that's what I hate about the camera angle. It forces me to actually get closer because there's no lighting. And when there's no lighting, you're not going to see anything but my distorted ass, dark ass face. Which isn't, which isn't very attractive, but neither is a close-up of a very hairy man. Anyway, ignoring that tangent, so let's create this polycentric system. And of course, that started getting a bit of skepticism during the earlier portion of 2013 and the latter portion of 2012, and it led to a whole lot of stuff. However, I think it's kind of funny, this the way everything's been played out. Because now I have to say probably the most liberal, non-liberal thing in the world. Mankind isn't your canvas. You can't just break all these traditions and then try writing up your own sort of standard, your own sort of rewriting. It's funny because authoritarianism is much less demanding than these idealists, these left-wing idealists, these modernists, these deconstructors, these whatever you call them. They're much less demanding because they're using a standard that's existed for almost an eternity. Well, that's not really true, but that's quite an exaggeration, but by our standards, practically speaking, an eternity. So they're not really imposing much if you think about it. 
for a DAO like me, maybe, but half of these fucktards, I bet you aren't even DAOs. Bet you some of them are just fucked. That's it. But anyway, and from an Edenistic perspective, I do take an interest in all that Kowanic stuff, but I'm not going to automatically like someone because they're a Thal. Really. I hate some Thals. I want some Thals in the ovens right now. I can actually say some names right now. And I'd say it with a passion, but this is YouTube and that's not good. That's no good. And because mankind is in your canvas, now you have the Tumblr tards, the LGBT fucking support your waiters, feminazi, 90s movie black and white gifts, codependent, racial egalitarians who, what they demand. They want to get rid of even patriarchy, but not just patriarchy, religion, this certain aspects of the state. They want to get rid of, like, fucking... They want to make us into, like, the most degenerate people out there. And in so doing that, uh... In so demanding that, uh... We stop social guilting, we stop acting according to our human nature and a lot of them do realize it's within our human nature they're imposing a standard on us and it's kind of funny and so to some extent I do like the anti-natalists because at least what they're propagating it's funny, it's ridiculous It'd be pretty harmful if it actually came to fruition, but really, damn, these niggas is fucked. At least they're not using the word extinction as a buzzword. They're using extinction for a practical, positive means, which means that they're probably the most intellectually satisfying of the postmodernists, deconstructors. I mean, no longer using anarchy as a buzzword was a big step up. Uh, certain things were probably buzzwords back in the day that they removed, so what I said was probably bullshit, but... It's hard to say stuff like stop imposing your rules on us and then advocate for something like totality in some cases or a fascist sense or authoritarianism is pretty difficult to do well, no doubt about it however it's something that's doable because it makes sense it's tradition as G.K. Chesterton puts it it's democracy of the dead and possibly the only good democracy too because it's one that's essentially scientifically proven technically because they've tested it, it's worked, it succeeded they test it again, they try it, and it still works you can't do that with fucking democracy, you have the Barack Obama experiment, the Bush experiment I take the word administration, I replace it with experiment and all of a sudden, it just makes much more sense. So, it's not as imposing because you're not really imposing much. What do, okay, what do I have to do? Think about this. A patriarchal, religious, status society. I have to start becoming a citizen instead of just a dirty-ass consumer like all these... Socialist anarchy charge isn't that funny. So I have to actually contribute something to the state. Uh, take the Prussian model, for instance, or 
even paying some taxes. Uh, an April 15 income tax is definitely stupid. It's expecting a lot from people, and it kind of has to become a redistributionist thing because do you really think Shaquille is going to be able to deal with the problems? No. So there's that. There's religion. I have to uphold the standards of religion, which it's not as efficient as capitalism. Big churches with a lot of details, they definitely use up a lot of resources, yet it's of a higher quality. It's producerism in a way instead of consumerism. I think this consumerism equals capitalism argument isn't perfect though. Because capitalism does have a high standard aspect to it. It's just a lot harder. Definitely needs some elements of monocratic or fascist control. And essentially patriarchy, so I can't be a pussy anymore. So it can't be a religious degenerate have to contribute to that structure that keeps us all in lock and man, that's not much. I can I can do that for eighty years. Or sixty years more realistically speaking. Since I'm not gonna be a young boy and coming out the womb and start doing all this shit. Anyway, this is Mr. Wonka seven. Uh Probably going to do another video right after this. Take care. Until next video.